What's that? Well, that is an ambulance siren. And this is the 5-Minute Wellness Show with Coach Moon. Why the ambulance siren? Well, and why build a fence? Stick with me on this. Fence and ambulance. Get ready for some Coach Moon poetry. A fence or an ambulance. A story of prevention. "'Twas a dangerous cliff, as they freely confessed, though to walk near its crest was so pleasant. But over its terrible edge there had slipped a duke and many a peasant. So the people said something would have to be done, but their projects did not at all tally. Some said, put a fence around the edge of the cliff, some an ambulance down in the valley." That poem has been around in many versions and forms for over a hundred years. And since the time of Aristotle uh, and Hippocrates, the father of modern medicine, we humans realize that prevention is part of our health strategy. Remember, know thyself, food is thy medicine. We as a nation, the United States, have the greatest ambulance solution in reactive medicine, science, technology, but the sturdy fence building of prevention is proving to be the hard part. Let's do a couple of comparisons here. Prevention versus treatment. This is like getting your physical and figuring out you have something early, 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 and you go into preventative measures from it getting worse until unfortunately you have a condition that maybe is unstoppable or so advanced that you really are going to suffer for the rest of your life. Proactive versus reactive actions. Uh, what am I talking about? Wearing a seatbelt. That's injury prevention, right? Brushing your teeth. That's cavity prevention. Gloves, gloves, goggles, masks, hand washing, and even cleaning surgical equipment, that's prevention. In the early days of medicine, someone would go in to have this revolutionary surgery, but they would use dirty, uh, contaminated instruments. And so this life-saving surgery actually killed more people than it saved due to infection. 401ks, that is another form of prevention. So if you think about it, Prevention can very much outweigh the costs or the complexities of curing it. Let's set the scene here for a minute. If you gain two pounds a year, right, you step on the scale January 1, and you're only two pounds heavier than you were last year, that's no big deal, right? Well, after a decade, that's 20 pounds, and after two decades, that's 40 pounds. And so this heart pounding extra weight we've developed that is going to lead to chronic conditions developed very, very slowly. And the solution will seem slow to you, but really it's, it's rather dramatic. Imagine if somebody lost 40 pounds in the course of one year, which is totally possible. Losing one pound a week uh, is actually recommended as, as safe enough weight loss. You would say, oh my gosh, you look great. What have you been doing? So behavior change takes time, yet for some reason we demand immediate results. We do things right for a week or two and we look at ourselves and go, well, uh, no change, I'm going back. So you can't expect results with no effort, okay? In any endeavor, health is no different. Expecting big changes with minimal effort is just a recipe for failure. So if you're young and in good health now, stay that way because losing 40 pounds is so much harder than never gaining it in the first place. Yep, that's money. That's money. What if the artery clogging diet you possibly are on came with that price tag? So every time you bought French fries or uh, if you ate a certain amount of bad food in a week, you got assessed a thousand dollar penalty to go add up to the hundred and fifty thousand dollars of health care costs. If you had a major heart attack, expect a hundred and fifty thousand dollar bill for that. And the best way to avoid high cost drugs, some prescriptions literally cost a thousand dollars a day. No joke. If you see the drug on TV, it's expensive. So the best way to avoid those prescription drug costs is to not be on them. When people lose weight, dramatically change their lifestyle, that's one of the first things to go is the medicine. 
we can't feel prevention though because we prevented it so it, we don't get the reward that makes it hard to internalize right if you uh, dodged a bullet you don't feel the bullet that you dodged in fact you you just feel normal and so it's very hard for us to weigh prevention properly so make time for prevention now or make time for sickness later form good habits now it's critical the sooner the better what's amazing is you can significantly correct decades of poor health choices so much faster than you accumulated it so I'm asking you this do something now that your future self will thank you for so let's finish that poem but a sensible few who are practical too will not bear with such nonsense much longer they believe that prevention is better than cure and their party will soon be the stronger encourage them then with your purse voice and pen and while other philanthropists dally they will scorn all pretense and put up a stout fence on the cliff that hangs over the valley so enjoy the beautiful view from the cliff and the protection of a sturdy fence Coach Moon.